Hey everyone, Mark here from CNC Sourced. In today's video, I want to discuss a question that many makers have when getting started with laser cutting. How much does a laser cutter cost? There are many factors that determine the price of a laser cutter, including the type of laser, its power, speed, precision, working area size, and features. Prices can range from a couple hundred dollars to over $100,000. I'll break things down to give you a better idea of what to expect at different price points, whether you're a hobbyist or run a manufacturing facility. Let's get into it. The most affordable laser cutters designed for beginners and hobbyists start at around $200. You can find very basic diode laser engravers at this price point on sites like Amazon. However, I recommend spending at least $300 to get a machine from a reputable brand that will offer better quality and durability. A high-quality, entry-level diode laser cutter will cost between $500 to $800. One of the best options in this range is the X-Tool D1 Pro. It starts at $699 for the 10-watt model and delivers excellent performance for hobby and light production use. I personally think the X-Tool D1 Pro is the top value diode laser on the market right now. Most lasers under $1,000 use diode lasers between 5 to 20 watts. As you go up in power, the costs understandably increase. A 20-watt D1 Pro is over $1,000, for example. The maximum diode power you'll commonly find is 30 watts. Beyond that, CO2 lasers become the better option. Speaking of CO2 lasers, they start at a higher price point than diode lasers, typically over $2,000. However, the OMTech K40 is a rare budget, CO2 laser priced at around $500. It's an excellent deal, but does require some DIY tinkering to get the most out of it. Between $2,000 to $7,000 is where you'll find professional-grade CO2 lasers suitable for serious hobbyists and small business use. Popular models in this range include the full-spectrum Muse Titan at $6,500 and the Glowforge Pro at $7,000. The key advantages of this mid-range is substantially more power, larger work areas, and faster speeds compared to budget lasers. For example, the Muse Titan has a 28 by 24 inch work area and 49 watts of power. The Glowforge Pro offers unlimited length cutting thanks to its pass-through slot. This price range is also where entry-level fiber lasers become available. Fiber lasers can cut metal unlike CO2 lasers, but they are traditionally expensive. OM Tech has made them more accessible to small-scale users with their 30-watt fiber laser priced at $3,600. Now let's talk about heavy-duty, industrial laser cutters. Their prices start around $10,000 and can exceed $100,000 for the highest quality models. Brands like Boss Laser and Triumph make these machines for full-scale production shops. The capabilities of industrial lasers are unmatched. Boss Laser's top-of-the-line fiber laser offers up to 15 kilowatts of power with insane precision. To give you an idea of how these are used, companies like Google, Amazon, and NASA rely on Boss Laser equipment for their production needs. Of course, such machines are major investments suited for large-scale operations. But it gives you a glimpse into just how far laser cutter technology can go when money is no object. Okay, so that gives you a broad overview of laser cutter costs based on their type, power, and capabilities. But it's not just the upfront price you need to consider. Operating costs are also a factor when budgeting for a laser system. Electricity costs are negligible for hobbyist laser cutters, usually less than 50 cents per hour. But larger machines can use a few dollars to over $10 per hour depending on the power settings. Replacement parts like laser tubes and mirrors will be needed over time too. The materials you laser cut are relatively inexpensive for most hobby applications. Acrylic, wood, cardstock, and leather are very affordable. 
Engraving metals hikes up material costs, of course. Operating software only costs around $60 for a light burn license. Finally, you may want to factor in the time it takes to learn laser cutting and create finished products. There is a learning curve, but once mastered, a laser can help you work efficiently and expand the services you offer. I hope this breakdown gives you a better grasp on the price landscape of laser cutters. It's a big investment, but the versatility of these machines makes it worthwhile for many users. Let me know if you have any other laser buying questions. Be sure to check out the full article on our website. I dive much deeper into specs and options across all budget levels. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next CNC sourced video.